there guys, welcome back to another video. Now recently, Alton Towers Resort has announced part of the Scarefest 2018 lineup. Now, Scarefest has been going for many years now, and this year one of the most iconic mazes of the whole Alton Towers Scarefest history, Terror of the Towers, has been announced they will not be on the lineup. Now, this is actually a very controversial move because the Terror of the Tower has been on the lineup for so many years and it only had been rethemed or reworked just seven years ago. So, and there's also rumours about a Alton Towers dungeon being built because. Oh, and that was his own by the same people who have multiple dungeons, including the London Dungeons, the Blackpool Tower Dungeons, the Edinburgh Dungeons. You said what I'm getting at here? So in this video, I'm going to be giving you the full history of Terror of the Towers at Alton Towers Scarefest. Terror of the Towers first launched in 2002, when Alton Towers Scarefest used to be called Alton Towers Halloween Spooktacular, and since... It opened in 2002. Every year it was on the lineup, it was always in the same location, in the iconic Towers of Alton Towers. Tower of the Towers returned in 2003, but when it opened in 2002, it opened with a Bloodfest Banquet theme. The Bloodfest Banquet theme returned for 2003, but other enhancements were made throughout the maze. However, the route from 2002 was not changed for 2003. Between the years of 2004 and 2006, Terror of the Towers and Alton Towers Halloween Spooktacular did not return. However, in 2006, the Halloween event was due to return, but was cancelled halfway through the season. In 2007, Terror of the Towers returned and... Alton Towers re brought their Halloween event back, but had rebranded it to what is now known as Scarefest. Also for 2007, when Terror of the Towers returned, it had a slightly modified Bloodfest Banquet theme. However, it was in this year more focused on storytelling than full impact scares. Terror of the Towers returned in 2008 with no changes at all. Terror of the Towers returned in 2009 and the Bloodfest Banquet theme was gone. And they changed it to what it was last known as Terror of the Towers What Lies Within. Now I did say it was changed seven years ago and I apologise but I was wrong. It actually was changed nine years ago. But... What Lies Within was the last time that the theme was changed for Terror of the Tower. One of the main changes for 2009's version of Terror of the Towers was that the route was completely reversed. So now the maze started in the Towers Conservatory and 2009's version of Terror of the Towers featured all new sets, props and effects including a chain link fence strobe maze finale, which remained in the maze for the rest of its life. Terror of the Towers returned in 2010 with no major changes apart from a few updated scenes. Terror of the Towers returned for 2011 and 2012, but no changes were made in the maze at all. Terror of the Towers returned for 2013, but no Changes were made at all, apart from the return of the monks in the chapel. Terror of the Towers returned in 2014, but no changes were made to the maze at all. Terror of the Towers returned in 2015, but with a new route. This was due to the scare mazes called Subspecies, The End Games, and The Haunting of Molly Crow were being located in the towers. So, some scenes were revised due to the mazes being in the tower. Terror of the Towers returned in 2016 
and um, and no root changes were made apart from the chapel scene having to be revised due to the removal of the elevated stairway. Terror of the Towers returned in 2017 for its final year. No changes were made at all to the maze uh, and the age restriction to enter the maze was ramped up to being for those over 15 plus. Terror of the Towers wasn't the only maze in 2017 to have the age restriction put up. Subspecies had its age restriction put up. The Oldenville Mine Tours, which replaced the Haunting of Molly Crow in 2016, had an age restriction of 15 plus. And the scares were definitely ramped up in Terror of the Towers. This shows that Alton Towers in 2016 went down a very different route with their scare mazes, as they tried to make them very extreme. Isn't this something Fort Park did as well? Thank you guys for watching this history of Terror of the Towers at Alton Towers Scarefest video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. A couple more of these planned uh, over the next couple of days. And yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos. If you want me to do some on Fort Park Resort, then comment down below. Comment down below. Do you enjoy these history videos? As it gives you a little bit of an insight of why maybe some mazes get removed after a very, very long time. And if you ever got to experience Terror of the Towers or Terror of the Towers What Lies Within, comment down below. Tell me what you thought of it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop kick that subscribe button in the face if you are new to this channel. My name is Nasha. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.